Hi, I'm Clément Levallois. Uh, I'm a social scientist based in Erasmus University in Rotterdam. And I would like to present you a, a little program I wrote, which uh, will help you discover the structure um, in your network. Um, so I have uh, an example uh, to show you. Uh, basically, this is a network of um, uh, Twitter users uh, that are interested in uh, data visualization and uh, you have uh, one of them, uh, Maurice uh, Stefaner, who created a visualization of who was interacting with whom um, in the field of data visualization uh, on Twitter. And the, the problem with this uh, network, uh, I find, is that uh, it's quite messy. It's a, basically what we call a hairball, kind of a, a ball of links without a clear structure, except for uh, some nodes are in the center, others are at the, in the periphery, but it's, it's quite hard to identify clear regions. In the network, uh, another attempt has been made. Uh, uh, I think not exactly with the same data, but on the same topic. That is uh, 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 mapping uh, the field of data visualization on Twitter, and so that was made by Jeff Clark, and this is what he got. And that's basically um, the same. I mean, at least to me, I find it quite. Uh, 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 I mean that could be improved because the the network is still a big big ball without uh, uh, a clear understanding in terms of its structure. But Jeff Clark uh, was very kind to put uh, the data he used uh, online, and uh, and here is how it looks. So it's simply a, a list of. Uh, um, of ages, uh, the first, uh, let's take the first one, uh, Magdi Vauna is citing in uh, tweets, in the tweets uh, she or he writes, Magdi Vauna is citing Magdiva in their tweets, and the last uh, figure is um, a frequency measure, so uh, just to say that this person is citing the other uh, a cert, uh, a sometimes. I can't remember exactly how the frequency measure is applied, but that's uh, well, that's frequency. And you have a long list of these ages, like almost 40,000. And that's the data that uh, Jeff Clark used to arrive at that. What I want to present you uh, uh, today is a program that takes this data, this one, and uh, converts it into, uh, I mean, make some processing of it in order to highlight uh, the structure of the, of, of the network. And the, 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 what it does is very, very simple. Basically, what it does is the program does not look at, sorry, does not look at each pair uh, of, of uh, nodes in order to draw the network. It proceeds differently. It takes each source of the edges, each source, and then computes uh, with which frequency each pair of sources share the same targets. Um, so to be uh, to be a bit more explicit, imagine you have a um, yeah a Twitter uh, users of Twitter, um, two users. Uh, both of them uh, mention many other people in their tweets, right? Uh, these two Twitter users will be paired in an age if and only if they mention many um, names in common. So I, I, I hope you see the, the logic. It, it, is, it means that an age with an age will be formed only if two nodes are not linked directly, only if they share a lot of links with others. That's the logic. Um, by the way, the, 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 the measure that it re, uh, relies on is called the cosine uh, similarity measure, uh, if you're interested in the logic. Anyway, um, 
the program I called it uh, Gaze and works uh, very very simply. You just select a file of, uh, uh, I mean a list of edges. So in my case, where is it? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, well, it's a bit far away. Uh, bear with me. Okay, that's here. So that's the file that Jeff Clark uh, uh, provides uh, online. You could find it as well. So you open this file, and you could just click on Find Structure, but uh, and it. It would work, but I just want to show you that there is this little uh, parameter window where you can uh, 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 tweak uh, some uh, parameters. Anyway, just click on Find Structure, and that's it. Um, this program cr created two uh, files in the same folder where uh, you uh, where you selected your file, a list of nodes and a list of edges. Um, what I do then with these two files is that I uh, import them into Gephi uh, in order to uh, visualize the, the result. So that's what I did. Um, is it open here? So yes. So you see as compared to uh, the previous uh, network we had, this time on Gephi we you see a much more um, um, discriminating uh, structure. And if we put uh, labels, it's here, like that. We see that uh, first the big players uh, in the field, the flowing data, Maurice Stefaner, uh, Blueprint, uh, and others, um, are not si situated in the same uh, regions. And well, if you are data visual, uh, data viz specialist yourself, uh, I'd be interested in knowing uh, uh, where you find yourself and uh, whether it makes sense or not. You should find yourself in the neighborhood of other Twitter uh, users that uh, mentioned frequently uh, the same persons in your in their tweets as you. Uh, and to me, it really makes sense. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's it, except that you can find, uh, um, I put this visualization online with um, uh, a, a JavaScript library created by uh, Alexis Jacomi that he called the sigma.js. And so that's the same graph as on Gephi, but it's, uh, you don't need Gephi basically to, uh, to explore it and uh, and you can share it online. Okay, thank you very much. I want to tell you that Gaze, the little program, can be downloaded on my website on the software in the software menu. And the code for this software is uh, open source on GitHub. Thank you very much. Bye.